Austin from Cartersville, GA. He said, do you expect this year's Big 12 to be more or less chaotic than last year's with the addition of the four new teams? So we got Central Florida and Houston and Brigham Young and Cincinnati. They're all added to the Big 12 this year. It's the last year that we have Texas and OU. Uh, last year, we had Kansas State and TCU in the conference championship game. They were the fifth and sixth teams in the preseason odds to win the Big 12. That's pretty crazy. And there was that stretch last year where everyone was alive. Kansas was alive. K-State ended up winning the thing. TCU ended up going to the championship game. And uh, Oklahoma State, before they imploded, they looked like a very viable candidate. Baylor for a little while. Iowa State for a little while. Viable candidates all up and down the Big 12. Not to mention, you got Texas and Oklahoma out there, although Oklahoma kind of faded from sight a little bit earlier than you would have expected. This year, I actually don't think it's going to be as crazy. Now, make no mistake, the Big 12 will still be a must-see product. But the reason it was so crazy last year is because of what I said. No clear favorite emerged. We didn't know until the very, very, very end of the season that Kansas State was going to win the thing. This year, we look at Texas in the preseason. And I could be wrong about this. <laughs> Certainly people who believe in Texas have been misled before. But with Texas this year, I see a much greater chance that a team, Texas in this case, ends up going wire to wire as the favorite. Now, you could have an upset, of course. And you could have a lot of chaos underneath Texas. But to me, to have a chaotic year on par with 2022... You can't have a favorite emerge. We did not have a favorite at any point last year. Even with TCU, even when they were going through the regular season undefeated, they were winning all those close games. They were coming from behind to win those close games to where any given week you thought, oh, that's going to come to an end. And even when they played Kansas State, you thought, dude, that's not going to be an easy game against Kansas State. And it wasn't. They lost and still went to the title game, even having lost the conference title game. So right now, Texas, OU, Kansas State, Texas Tech, and TCU. Those are your five betting favorites to start the year. I mean, like I said, last year, number five and six play for the title. The year before, Baylor had the second to worst odds, and they ended up uh, winning the Big 12 championship. So anything can happen in that conference. But I'll tell you, I think the Pac-12 is going to be this year's version of the Big 12. Ton of contenders out there. And even though you may think you have a preseason favorite. If it's USC, for example, they got beat twice by Utah last year, including in the conference championship game. So th there is no unequivocal favorite out there. And all those teams play each other like almost round robin style. So I think the Pac-12 may be this year's Big 12.